All right, so the next discussion is about the AC sweep analysis. Um, so AC sweep analysis you perform when your um, values are changing with respect to frequency. Uh, remember, transient analysis is when values are changing with respect to time. And AC sweep analysis is when values are changing with respect to frequency of the input waveform. So if you're changing the frequency of, let's say, sinusoidal signal from um, you know, 1 hertz to 1,000 hertz or 1 megahertz, uh, then it is possible, uh, especially if you have uh, capacitor, inductor, uh, and electronic components which have built-in capacitor and inductors, uh, it is possible that uh, those capacitors and inductor are going to behave, the reactance of those capacitor and inductors will behave differently at different frequencies, and hence uh, the output is going to be different. Uh, so that's what we are going to look at under AC sweep analysis. And this analysis is done very commonly when we are basically trying to figure out uh, the response of what we call a filter. A filter basically is an electronic circuit that gives you different behavior at different frequencies. It stops some of the frequencies and it lets other frequencies go through it. So those circuits are called filters. Uh, and AC sweep analysis is, is done uh, to see the response of uh, a filter. So we're not discussing filters right now. We're just going to discuss the AC sweep analysis. So I have the same circuit that uh, I was using for the transient analysis. Now for AC sweep analysis, you don't use the sinusoidal source directly. There is an AC source that you can use right here. VAC, and I'm going to use that actually, VAC right here. So use the AC source, and observe AC source does not have any frequency or anything, because you don't need anything. Um, all you need is the value of the source. You just leave it at 1 volt, uh, leave the DC at 0 volt. That's fine. And what you basically want to see, you want to see is if you are changing the frequency of this sinusoidal source, from a starting frequency and going up to a very high frequency, how different uh, voltages, basically currents, they are behaving in the circuit. So if I go and edit simulation profile, instead of choosing the time domain transient, and as I already have the simulation profile from the last transient analysis. If you don't have it, of course, you can always create a new profile and choose AC sweep, noise AC sweep. Now observe, what do you have? You have two different types of analysis, linear and logarithmic. And for both, you have a start frequency and frequency. And for linear, you have how many total number of points you want to plot between a start frequency and end frequency. And if you go to logarithmic, then a start frequency, end frequency, and how many points per decade of frequencies you want to plot. Because if you're doing log logarithmic, basically, it divides each decade of frequency in, uh, into the same, uh, basically, a span of frequency. So from 0 to 1 hertz will have the same length as from 1 to 10 hertz, 10 to 100 hertz, 100 to 1,000 hertz. So each decade of frequency will have the same length. And generally, uh, we do the AC sweep analysis uh, on the logarithmic scale because many times all the frequency change is at the shorter end of the frequency, at a smaller frequency. And at higher frequency, it's zero. So, so if you're running a circuit for very long range of frequencies, everything is going to happen within the first uh, few hertz, and then it's going to become zero. So if you do linear, you will see basically that everything is zero. Because again, it is going to compress the lower frequencies if you're going up to a very high frequency, it's, because it's not going to keep the same uh, span uh, of length for each decade of frequency. So we can do both. We can do linear. Let's say we start at 1 hertz, and we go up to 1 megahertz. So again, I'm going to do mega, M-E-G-A. Don't use M only, OK? And let's say I want to plot, uh, total number of plot I want to plot, let's say 1,000 points. Apply. OK, let's see if it works. All right, if I run this, 
and if I go ahead and I want to see how the voltage is changing across capacitor, let's see. So I put it there. All right, observe what I was mentioning it to you. Everything is happening right at the beginning, and then the voltage is zero across capacitor. And since you're using the linear, observe it's very hard to observe this. You can, I mean, you can zoom into this section, but basically it is almost zero after, what is that, um, you know, zero to 0 0.1 uh, megahertz. So it is about 0 0.1 megahertz is 100 uh, kilohertz. So that's about um, 20 kilohertz. So between zero and 20 kilohertz, pretty much everything is happening. So you don't get much information if you perform this linear uh, simulation, linear uh, sweep. Let's go ahead and change the same to logarithmic. And let's say points per decade. So each decade, let's plot 100 points. And let's run it again. Now observe. So now since each decade of frequency 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to uh, 1 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz to 10 kilohertz. Each decade of frequency observed has the same span of frequency, same length. So it is not compressing the lower frequencies even though you're going up to the same 1 megahertz, right? But it is not compressing all of them towards, you know, the, towards the y-axis or towards the origin. So now you can see that the output is changing. It's almost constant up to about 100 hertz, let's say, and then it starts going down. So in this case, you know, uh, there, there's something called the cutoff frequency, there's something called the stop frequency, there's a transition region. All of this, of course, as a discussion of advanced classes, I'm not going to discuss here. But this is how the AC sweep works. This is showing you how that circuit is working if you are changing the frequency of the input voltage, input sinusoidal voltage from 1 hertz to 1 megahertz. Now, let me show you one more thing. This is not in the tutorial. Now, if you have the sinusoidal source, like we had before, you can still do this AC um, sweep with that. <coughs> so let's say I'm going to go back and we had these settings. Zero volt was this. Amplitude was, I believe, five volt and frequency was 1 kilohertz, right? This, these were our setting. AC, we left it. Now, AC is basically what we had for the AC source, right? So if you just go ahead and put AC, whatever value you want to put, we put, it was 1 volt for AC for the other source, right? And then run it again. Basically, it's going to show you the same thing. So, although in the tutorial, I'm showing you with the AC source, not with the sinusoidal source, but you can also use sinusoidal source. And when the AC value is given, some AC value you choose, then it's going to perform the AC sweep. This will be the peak AC value that it's going to choose. So, let's say if I change this AC value to 2 volt. Right now, observe. It is going from about one, two, three, four, five. So this is, um, you know, about 6.6. .6. So 660 millivolt is the peak value where it is starting. And if I run it again, so observe it just changed this 660 times two, right? <coughs> so this basically is the peak value of your source. Your frequency is no longer 1 kilohertz. Your amplitude is no longer 5 volt. Basically, these, these values becomes invalid if you are giving some value of the AC. Then basically, AC takes over, and if you're doing the AC sweep, oh, not new simulation, if you're doing the AC sweep, then AC takes over. This will be the value of the source, and then it will follow the start frequency and frequency and how many points you're plotting, okay? So uh, you don't have to use this, just use the AC source because I'm discussing in the tutorial uh, VAC. So you can just use the VAC source. You don't have to go and use it. V, v sign, I was just showing you that you can also use V sign. 
by choosing a, an appropriate value of the AC, which I chose to be the same, one volt AC. And then of course, you have to choose in the simulation setting, you have to choose the AC sweep and end frequency and all those things that we discussed. Okay, so let's see which problem you will be doing. This is one of the graphs that I'm showing you. This is the simulation setting. Exercise eight, I'm assuming will be the last exercise uh, under AC sweep. Actually, this is the only exercise under AC sweep. So you're going to be creating the circuit and uh, start at one hertz, go up to one megahertz, like I showed you in the, sim in the, uh, in the video, and use logarithmic sweep. Uh, and since we are using logarithmic sweep, sweep, just use 100 points per decade, okay? Use 100 points per decade, and it's gonna be a good um, smooth curve. So this 